right. Okay, everybody. So lovely to see you all today. So what I want you to do today is we're going to do a warm up with Sari Namaskara A. So we're going to do a little bit of yoga for the warm up, but then we're going to go on to classical Pilates through and through. Okay. Let's try this again. So standing at the front of the mat, standing up nice and tall, feet together or a little bit of a hip width gap there. Shoulders back and down, tummy scooping in. Deep breaths in your mountain pose here, Tadasana. That's it, just really focusing, letting go of everything that's been affecting you today, just freeing your mind of everything and listening to your body now and focusing. And then taking an inhale and taking your hands up bringing them together in prayer position at the top and if you want to here you can just leave the index finger and thumb up and just interlace the other fingers as you gaze up towards those hands and then we're going to roll down to the floor so you're going to just take your arms out and down sweep down into a forward fold now what you need to do here is you're trying to get your tummy to glue to your thighs so if you can't manage that coming down, just give a little bend in those legs and do it in a bent leg position like that. And as you get better, you can just straighten, straighten, straighten. It's because you've got the tight glutes and hamstrings there that are just stopping you from being able to really lay your tummy down on your thighs. So you just need to gradually ease into that. Then coming up into a halfway up, so a halfway fold or half bend and you've got your fingertips down or if you can't quite do that just bring them up on the shin so you can go out in a nice straight line and then you bring the hands back down if you need to bending the knees you're going to step yourself back into plank position so stepping one foot back stepping the other foot back into plank position holding that and then we're going to bring our knees down to bring us down to the floor but what you can do is you can come straight down um, into what's called Chaturanga. And I'll just show you that. So Chaturanga, you would come down and you would bring yourself down. So you're hovering with your elbows glued in tight, your shoulders, making sure your shoulders are glued back. And then you would lower down into, up, come up into up dog. But for us, for you guys, from that plank you're just going to bring it all the way down and then come up into a cobra so leaving those legs on the floor and pressing up with a little bit of a bend still in that elbows okay then tucking the toes under and pressing up into downward dog so pressing the hips back pressing through the hands pressing through the heels Extending long through the tailbone, widening through your collarbone, and then pressing those biceps away from the ears for a nice wide position. So the eyes of the elbows, which is your inner creases, are turned a little bit so they're facing the front. That's what you want. So your fingers almost go slightly outwards. And just taking a couple of breaths and we're going to just speed this this little bit up a couple of times just to get really warmed up the hot day we don't need too much warming up okay so bend the knees step forward folding forward again so remember bending the knees if you need to halfway up folding then sweeping back up to the high salute and here we go again so speed it up a little bit now you know what you're doing sweep it down all the way down halfway up fold it down stepping the feet back into the plank we drop our knees first bring it down slowly up into that cobra position tuck the toes pressing back into that downward dog Couple of breaths here. Good. Eyes forward. Then step yourself back forward again into that forward fold. Halfway up we go again. 
folding down again, and then sweeping it back up into high salute. Final time we go. Inhaling, then bring it down, all the way down to the floor. Sit. Inhale as you stand forward, that halfway fold. Exhale, fold it all the way forward again, then step it back, inhaling as we go down and into Cobra, then tucking the toes and exhaling into the down dog. And you should feel nice and warm now, but I bet you did already anyway. Tummy pulling in. Fantastic. I just want you to just bring the feet forward and then just sit yourself down. So just crossing those legs to sit yourself down. Roll yourself down to the floor into our classical Pilates now. So bringing the knees into chest, bringing the chin to chest, lengthening up the legs or taking them all the way up if you can. And then down a bit and pumping the arms, breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more breath and exhale. Good. Letting the legs go down, bringing the hands behind, hands to ceiling, chin to chest, ready for the roll up, peeling up. Exhale, reaching forward. Inhale, rolling back. Exhale, arms go back. Hands up, chin to chest, rolling all the way up. Exhale, reaching forward. Inhale, rolling back. Exhale, arms go back. Hands up, chin to chest. Rolling it up one more time. Rolling it back. And arms go back. Hands down by your side, bend those legs. Now you can keep the left leg bent if you need to, or you can straighten it out, and then you bring the right knee in towards you and lengthen up for single leg circles. And then we're crossing that leg across the body, down and circle back up. Two, three, four, and five. Body nice and still, take it around the other way. Four, three, two, and one, let's switch legs, bend that knee in, extend it out, bring the other knee in, extend it up, and circle across. Five, four, three, two, one, reverse it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring that knee in, give it a hug, lengthen both legs out. Hands to ceiling, chin to chest, roll yourself up. Bring yourself forward for rolling like a ball. So hugging those knees in nice and tight. Tummy scooping, shoulders down. And then roll it back. And exhale up. If you need to widen that position, you can remember. Rolling back and rolling up. But ideally, hug it in tight. Roll it back. Roll it up one more time. Roll it back and roll it up. Good. Let's bring the right knee in, lengthen out the left leg and roll back for the Ab 5 series. And we switch, switch. There's single leg stretches here. Switching and switching. Switch, switch. Breathing in for two and out for two. Inhale and exhale good final time exhaling good have the knees in double leg stretch reach it long exhale to hug inhale we reach exhale we hug inhale we reach exhale we hug one more time we reach and we hug we've got scissor legs but let's have a little break so rest the head down, take a deep breath. Now bring the chin up to chest, taking the right leg up, hold on behind the thigh or behind the calf, lengthen the other leg out long, two little pulls in, one, two, and switch, one, two. So if you want to make it a bit easier, bend the legs and just lay down there resting. That's it.
Coco, 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 Coco. Breathe in, for two, and out, for two. Good. Final time. Well done. Bring the knees and rest down. Now popping the hands underneath the bottom. That's it. Just to get your back into the mat there. Lengthen the legs up. Then we bring them down and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Again, if this gets a bit tough, just bend those legs and just tap the toes like so. Just to shorten those levers to make it a bit easier. Last two. Last one. Bringing the knees in, giving them a hug in. Bringing the chin back up to the chest, taking the hands behind the head, elbows wide. Last one is crisscross. Right knee comes in, left leg goes long. Crossing over to that bent leg and we're switching it now. So switch, 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 switch. That's it, keep it going. Switch, switch, move in for two and out. Good two. Breathe in and out. One more time. And exhale. Good. Hugging in. Lengthen out the legs. That's it. Let's roll up to sitting, chin to chest. Roll up. Reposition yourself as you need to. I've slid forward a little bit there. Spine stretch forward, sitting up tall, shoulders back, chin to chest, nose over to navel, crown goes down, exhaling as you reach forward, inhaling, stack, 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 back up to the top. And again, chin down, nose over, crown down, drawing tummy back, reaching, roll, 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 back up. One more time, chin down. Nose over, crown down, reaching, and roll back up. Good, bring yourself forward now. For, I'm just gonna adjust slightly here. Getting a little bit close to the wall. The mat's on the move. Okay, so open leg rocker, bringing the feet in towards you. Let's prepare, balance up on those sit bones. Tummy scooping in, shoulders back and down. Right leg extends up. Bring it back down. Body's nice and steady here. Other leg goes up. Bring it down. And then both legs coming up. Tummy scooping, shoulders back, chin down. Let's roll it back here. So roll it back. And exhale up. Inhale back. And exhale up. Inhale back. And exhale up. Two more here. Inhale back. Exhale up. One more time. Exhale up. Good. Bring the legs together. You can leave them there and roll yourselves down ready for corkscrew. Hands by your sides. Palms down. Legs glued together. And then we circle the legs clockwise. And we reverse. Then we do three lifts straight up with the bum. Three, two, one. Clockwise again. And reverse. Three, two, one. One more time clockwise. And reverse. Three, two, one. Let's bring ourselves up for saw. Three, two, one, and up we come. Into position. Let's turn to face you for this. Taking the legs out wide. Feet are flexed. Twisting around towards the right foot. So taking it around 
and sawing off the little toe with your finger there, your little finger, for three, two, one. Inhale to centre. Twist to the other heart side. Exhale as you reach. Two, three. Inhale to centre. Exhale and reach. Two, three. Inhale to centre. Exhale and reach. Two, three. Inhale to centre. Exhale and reach. Two, three. Good. Bring it down. That's it. Bring it back to centre. Bring the legs back together. Roll yourself down onto your tummy. Prop yourself up onto your elbows. Just get a stretch through the tummy muscles. So into our stretch here, which is the sphinx in yoga as well. Another, po another posture that's uh, or moves that's very, very similar. And we're going to do the neck roll. So taking the hands either side of the chest, tucking the elbows in nice and tight, looking down at the mat. Then we're going to just press up a little bit, look to our right, then look to the front, look to the other side, and then back down. Reverse it. Look to the left, look to the front, look to the other side, and look and back down. One more time each side, right, centre, left, and down, left, centre, right, and down. So you can do a few different variations of those. So picking yourself up now or back up onto those elbows, we're going to do a single leg kick. So legs are glued together, propping yourself up, and then the right heel kicks into bottom. Three, two, one. Left leg. Three, two, one. Right leg. Three, two, one. Left leg. Three, two, one. One more each side. Other side. Good. Lower yourself down nice and gently, just turning your head to face the right. Taking your hands behind your back. This is double leg kick. So both heels are going to kick into the bum. One, two, three, then extending. And as you as you extend back, reach the arms behind and then turn to face the other way. Bring the hands back in and again kick. Two, three, extend, lift, reach behind and turn the other way. Kick. Two, three, extend. Lift and reach behind and turn the other way. One, two, three. Lift and reach behind and turn the other way. Good. Bring yourself back up onto those elbows. Fantastic. Hands underneath. Bring yourself up to all fours. We're just going to do a little bit of cat cow here. So drawing in those tummy muscles. And rounding the back up into the cat, just exhaling all that air out. And inhale as you reverse that into cow pose. Head comes up, tummy goes down, bottom in the air, arching the back. And the other way again as you exhale, the air out, make space as you're drawing the tummy muscles in. And then inhale, let the tummy fill up with air as you extend that tummy, those tummy muscles. One more time each way. So exhaling to round up. Inhaling to come down into that neutral spine. So a nice long line out the top of the head, towards the top of the head as well. And then sitting back on the heels into rest position. And just resting down. And then bringing yourself around to lying back down on your mat. Lengthening out those legs. And we're going for the neck pull, but your option here is to just do some more roll ups. Uh, rather than taking those hands behind the head. So if you're going for that uh, 
neck pull, you're taking your hands behind your head, you're trying to keep your elbows wide as you roll up. Um, as I say, option to just keep the arms out. So chin to chest, tummy drawing in, rolling up, try and keep those tummies in and those elbows back. Exhale as you go forward. Inhale to sit up tall, give a little hinge, and then exhale as you roll it all the way back. And again, so inhaling and rolling up, sitting up tall, exhale and go forward. Sit up tall again, hinge it for the inhale, and then exhale on the roll back down. Good. I think I might make you do that one more time actually. So chin to chest, try and keep the elbows wide, tummy scooping for this final time. Rolling up. Oh, that's it, draw the tummies in. Go forward, sit up, and then roll it back. Well done. Okay, bending the knees, we're going into the bridge. So bring the feet in a bit. Pressing through the heels, pressing through the palms, and lift the hips. Just hold it there for a second. Breathing into this. And then we're going to extend the right leg out long. And we're going to point the toe, lift the leg up, keeping the toe pointed, then flex the foot and pull back down. So it's a point to lift up and a flex to come down. One more time, point to lift and flex, come down. Place that foot back down, adjust yourself, make sure your hips are high, you're up in your bridge position, walk the shoulder blades in together a little bit at the back there. And then the other side, extend out the leg, pointy toe and lift, flex and lower. Point to lift, flex to lower, one more point, to lift and flex to lower. Good. Popping the foot down. And then we're going to just roll down nice and slowly. Upper back, middle back, and lower back. And I just want you to just come up one more time, just in that bridge. So just press up and slowly roll down to the upper back, middle back, and lower back. Lengthen out those legs, hands up to ceiling, chin to chest, roll yourselves up. I'm going to turn around to face you now again, spine twist. Legs are out in front. Hopefully you can see me all right there. Hands out to the sides, we're going to do it with the wide arms this time. So trying to keep everything in line here. So don't lead with the head, keep it in line so you're going to twist with the body. And this stays all in line, okay? So that's your challenge. You haven't got your hands there to guide you. They're coming out wide. So sitting up nice and tall. You're going to take it round to one side. So exhale as you twist and twist. And then inhale to centre. Other side. Twist and twist. Inhale to centre. Exhaling. Twist. Twist. Inhale to center, exhale, twist, twist, inhale to center, final time, and center. Good, bringing the arms down. Okay, line yourself down now for the leg series. Towards the back of that mat, resting your head down on your hand with a bent arm or extending out. It's your preference, then pike position with those legs. So just bringing them forward to that top corner. That's it. And we're going to lift up that top leg with a pointy toe, flex and pull down. So it's point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one, well done. Now let's circle that leg nice and controlled. Circling forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Reversing now for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bending that top knee, popping the leg down, lengthening out through the lower leg for that inner thigh and pressing up for that pointy, just soft point with the foot, not a, not a harsh point, just a soft point. Pressing up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Circling forward, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reversing it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs together now, rolling round onto your tummy, pressing the legs up, the whole length of that leg. Heel beats together now, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring yourself up to all fours. Then crossing your legs, just roll back over those legs and extend and change to the other side. So lying along that back edge, bringing the legs forward, tummy drawing in, get ready to point and flex. So turning out the hips slightly there, but keeping nicely stacked. We're going to point up and flex down. Point and flex. Point and flex five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're circling forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's reverse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Okay, now bending that front knee and just placing the leg down, extending through the lower leg to work that inner thigh. So soft point again, pressing up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Circling forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now reverse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Bringing those legs together. Just gently bring yourself up sitting and then take yourself round ready for the teaser series teaser prep to start with so bringing those feet in that's it just have a little hug forward first just to get yourself set and then popping the feet down these bent feet flat on the floor taking the arms up and lean back until you get that bite point of teaser so your arms are parallel to the tops of those legs. You feel it in your tummy muscles and you're pulling your tummy muscles in. That's it, holding that position. Then bringing the right leg up and bring it down. The left leg up and bring it down. Let's do a roll down and up. So roll it back. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower, roll down, reach back. Exhale, come rolling back up and reaching up. Roll back and up. So you can stay with that. Or if you can, we're going to bring the legs up for teaser. So legs are coming up or if you need to keep them down. Then rolling back and exhale up. Inhale back and exhale up. 
inhale back and exhale up one more time back and up oh well done stretch forward that's it okay roll back lengthen out long let's do some stretches now so reaching the whole body stretching stretching reaching through the fingertips down through the feet everything is pulling and reaching as much as you can and then hugging it back in hugging tight hugging tight and again reach it long hug it back in tight Keep your left, keep your right knee hugged in, lengthen out your left leg, and just keep giving that right knee a nice hug in. And switch it over. And then lengthening out both legs again. I want you to bend your right knee, placing your foot flat on the floor, and then using your opposite hand, you're pulling that knee across to the other side and extending your right arm out to look across to your fingers. So you're getting that stretch and twist in the back. Really lovely spine twist here for you. Holding that stretch. Back up to the top. Let's switch sides. Bringing that left knee in, pulling it over and turning to the other side. And back up to the center, hands up to the ceiling, chin to chest, rolling yourself up, bringing yourselves round to face me, crossing the legs. That's it, just taking uh, one leg on top of the other and then stretching forward. So fingers creeping forward on the ground there. Feeling a stretch in the hip. Nice gentle stretch in the hip. Just widen the, if, if it's too tough, just do a wider leg position and then gently just lean forward a little bit rather than keeping it in so tight. And then walk it back. Switch the legs across the other way. And walking forward. Feeling the stretch in the other side, right in the hip on the other side. And walking it back. That's good, giving the shoulders a roll. Letting your right ear go to the shoulder. Feeling the stretch down the side of the neck. up to centre and over to the other side just relax the breathing back up to centre just bowing the head forward feeling stretched down the back of the neck back up to the centre taking the head back back up to the center just taking your thumbs i just want you to take them right into the inner corners of uh, just right under the um under the start of the eyebrow there and just press in and up just a little bit of pressure close the eyes that's it just use your thumbs right in that pressure point there so just give it a bit of pressure there, breathing, and release that. You should feel a nice release across your head and your eyes. If you've got a little bit of an eye ache and a headache, that's really good. Just use those thumbs there to just release all of the tension there. Okay, so 
thank you very much everybody i hope you enjoyed that as i practice today as i say it's mainly classical pilates but with a little bit at the beginning we had a little bit of a twist a little bit of a yoga to warm up and, and then a little bit of a different stretching out so thanks very much everybody